The number of cases across the country going down Sunday as the new death toll remains high, more than 169,000. This as college students return to campus and parents and school administrators face tough decisions over whether to send their loved ones back. Here's ABC's Christine Sloan. Next President Trump months, optimistic, saying coronavirus cases are on the decline. Nearly 85% of jurisdictions all across our country are reporting a very steep decline in cases. And that's despite the fact that we have the number one testing program anywhere in the world. We're up to almost 70 million tests, far beyond any other country. This, as the CDC says, more than 200,000 American lives could be lost by Labor Day. You can't run away from the numbers of people who've died, the number of people who are getting hospitalized, the surges we're seeing. And many students return to the classroom. More than a dozen students potentially exposed at this Oklahoma high school after one of their classmates tested positive, but misunderstood quarantine rules and went to school anyway. At Villanova University, police breaking up a large part the school's president telling students they'll be sent home if they don't follow campus health guidelines. While a spokesperson for the U.S. Naval Academy confirming a number of midshipmen tested positive. And the University of Arizona testing students before they move in. Those who are positive will be sent to an isolation dorm for 10 days. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.